Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. And today we've got an unboxing, and it's from Dreamer Designs. Let's get inside. So I hadn't actually planned to make a, a Dreamer Designs purchase just quite yet, <laughs> but at Easter they had a buy one get the second fifty five percent off. So I was like, yeah, let's just. It'd be silly not to, so let me get inside. Right, so yes, I have actually bought two paintings. I'll be showing the unboxing for another one. Uh, it'll pop up on the channel probably in a, like a month or two. It's actually a Halloween one, so <laughs> it's a bit early to show it yet, but we, should, we can show this one. No, there's nothing wrong with planning ahead. So, as per usual, Dreamy Designs comes in the dust little duster bag, which I really like that, actually, and they have their smooth uh, backed canvases. I always feel bad for for unraveling their ribbon because it's also always so prettily, prettily done. Get rid of that. And let's just unroll this so the canvas has a moment to uh, relax. Right, we'll use this as our backdrop until it does. Ooh, I always forget, it's a 60 by 80. I always forget what a wrestling match it is for uh, those. So I'll, put the, I'll just put the sticker sheet to one side there. Now, if you're not familiar with how I do my unboxing videos, uh, I do show everything, the kit, the, you know, the toolkit, the drills, the, the stickers, the canvas, the drill field. Uh, if you're not interested in all those things, I put little chapters down the bottom. So you can just skip to the bits you like and ignore the bits you don't. Simple. Right, so there's their little leaflet with their blurb on how to do it. We've all seen one of them before. And if not, it's, uh, it's not that exciting, to be honest. Unless you're brand new. So let's look at the toolkit first. I love their toolkit bags. It's like um, fleecy, fleecy, soft flea. Oh, I don't want to have my, uh, my jammies made out of. And I'm a sucker for branding. I always love things that have a bit of branding on it. Right, so that's the bag empty. So we have some baggies. We have the regular type of oh, regular type of um, diamond painted pen we have this plastic tipped one which you use for AB drills and we have two two pots of wax with a little dreamer designs logo on two squishies to put on your pen stop your fingers hurting I actually place with tweezers so I don't use these but um, so we've got a straightener and we've got a, I don't use multi-places either because I'm using tweezers for, this is a square by the way. And I think that's a three and that is maybe a seven. And here, here's the tweezers, we like these. And again, it's got the Dream of Designs logo on them, love that. Pointy, pointy stabby type, be careful. There's a reason why there's a guard on there. And yes, I have stabbed myself with them and drawn blood. And we have a... Nice boat. I, I like their boats because they're nice, good size. And just do that to um, instead of a stopper. I don't really use that bit usually. I just, yeah. And this, if you've never seen one of these before, you put it on your tray and you split it in two. And then you pour them back in, do that, take your thing off, pour in the second lot of drains, as, uh, which is good for confetti paintings. So yeah, that is the toolkit. Let's put that all away. Right, sticker sheet time. So if you've paid attention to the thumbnail, you'll know what the picture is or at least a hint of it. And it is this one. So we have Red Rose Manor and it's by Sasha, artlicensing.com. And we have, like I mentioned before, it's a six by 80 and it is a square. And I, I quite like these ones because they give you a little extra, little extra stickers that I'll, um, one day I'll put in my logbook that I have yet to start, but I will do it one day. <laughs> I've got the book, I've just haven't started it. Right, so we have all our stickers here. They are single stickers, uh, you know, so if you don't want these symbols on them, like the numbers, uh, you'll have to cut them off. But apart from that, they're just, yeah, just your regular stickers. And it's kind of, it is glossy, but it's also kind of matte. So you can write on these uh, spare stickers as well if you want. So that's a sticker sheet. Let's look at the drill, shall we? Right, so we've got two packs of drills. Needs to say, there's, actually there's not as much pink in it as I thought. It feels like a really pink painting, but obviously they've got lots of um, 
like ready ready browns and uh, pinky beiges. So this is let's go go in order. Right, I won't talk while I rustle. Let's get everything out of the bag. Right, so let's have a see. Let me. Um, there is ABs in this. I think how many ABs? We have six ABs in this painting. Yeah. Right, so we'll we'll see what we've got. Right, so we have four snakes of drills in that pack. Uh, they're a bit mixed up because these start 1 to 18 and then it goes up to 35. So for some reason, the middle ones are in the other pack. But let's have a quick, quick, quick drive by. Actually, let me turn them that way and you can see the colours better. Right, so. Ooh, I actually thought that was brown, but it's not. It's like a really deep maroon. Shows how much attention I was paying. Sorry for the uh, glare. I do film in front of the window. So we've got some greys and blues, brick red, and like I say, this is like it's peachy brown. Like that's it's not a brick red, but it's like a, a, a softer one. Anyway, peach. We've got three bags of three ten. So that's not too bad for the people that hate three ten. I don't. I don't actually mind it to be honest. And we've got just a few of those. Plenty of confetti in this, despite all the like the primary colour palette being pinky, red rose. Uh, we do have some colours that there's only a bit of a sprinkling off. Look, look, there's only a only a few of those ones. That grey, what's that? Four one four. Do you know what? I'm going to open up this other pack just because I want to do it in order. Because <laughs> I'll pack them back in order. It make it easier for when I um, kit up. Oh, look at all my ABs. Right, uh, but anyway, let's go back in order. So this is number 19. Did I say how many colours it was? 63 colours. I do. It's not, it's, not, it's not a crazy amount, but it's, it's a good amount of colours, that. So these are our greens. And now we've got more pinks, loads of that one. Pink, pink, pink. I clearly had a pink head on when I bought this painting. And then we've got some nice chocolatey browns. Stick those over there. All right. We've got more blues. Here's some more reds. Some really deep reds. Hopefully they'll show up all right for the uh, oh, two wash out. So we've got a nice peach. Blue. It's a kind of, um, yeah, I can't describe that one. Not in, not in, in good words. <laughs> Maybe if you've got an upset tummy. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome to my channel where I say things I probably shouldn't. Right, get those over there. So this is 934, 935, 936s. Plenty of those greens. Green, green, green. That one's slightly brighter. And more browns. That's a nice pink. That is 962. And the, even this one, this is like a grey, but it's got like... It, like pinky undertones to it so even the even the, even the not pinks are pink <laughs> right okay next lot 42 so. right so another beigey another pale blue that's a nice pale blue this is, is this 938 no 3371 look at loads of that nice oh, i love these pinks makes me think of ice cream Because that's how I roll. The last of the normal colours. So, oh, look at this lovely minty green. I wonder where that appears on the painting. There's a good bit of it. Some peaches. More greys. Kind of mustardy yellow. Oh, is that 550? No, 3834. Nice purple there. A few of those. Cocoa, and then the sort of beigey brown. Right, so that's all the main drills. Let's look at the ABs. Right, so we've got six ABs. The 808, so that's like um, basically white. We've got a nice pale blue. Oh, more of that pink. Lovely. It's very similar to that other pink. And there's lots of that as well. That's going to be good. And this is a peachy pink. Oh, yeah. Oh, not many of that. That's 666. Hardly any of that. And then we've got a nice little bit of um, sort of lemon. 
But again, not very much of that. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute and see where it is on the canvas. But in, before then, let me get all these put away. Should we take a look at the canvas? Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Let's flip it over. Oh. Do you know what? I'll, I'll put it that way because obviously it's not all gonna fit in the camera, uh, but I will put a picture up on screen now so you can see it. And also I'll show you again the, um, you know, the, the sticker sheet. But yeah, it's, it's absolutely luscious. I'm not really into the buildings in general. And so when I first saw this, I was like, oh yeah, no, that's nice because it, it is pretty, but it didn't, you know, it wasn't like high on my list. And then I saw somebody, you know how sometimes when paintings, you see them finished and you're like, oh yeah, I want that. So yeah, I saw somebody had completed it and it is absolutely gorgeous. Comes out, oh, I can't wait. So uh, we'll check, just check it for stickiness. I, ch I always check all four corners before I do anything, because if the glue goes, if, it's, if the glue hasn't reached the edge, then it's usually on the corners that suffer that. So far, so good. Right, let's have a look at the drill field. Uh, let's pick some, what should we do? Let's pick, the, well, I might as well just stick with this, shall we? So I'll pin it back here. I won't pin it back too far, because I always manage to stick it onto the table or last time I turned back the cover and stuck that the wrong way around. So our symbols here, shall I turn it this way? I'll do it this way so that they're all the right way up at least. Oh, did I? Yeah, no, I did say who it was from. So these are the, the white outs. It's, it seems pretty clear. I, 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 I've had a couple of um, Dreamer Designs canvases and reading the symbols is definitely not, not been an issue in the past. I know some people have talked about it, um, like some of their old kits was a problem. They was like actually fuzzy. They was harder to read on a, on a light pad. Um, I've not experienced that, but I've only had the newer canvases. And I've, I've only done a couple, so maybe I've just been lucky. But uh, yeah, so we got all our, even the greens here, uh, a really sharp white out of, um, white out of the symbol. So I'm not seeing any issues there. Let's just look at the pale. What do I want? It's usually the white out of darker colours that I have problems with. Like, it's, it's a bit of an eye strain. And obviously, there's quite a lot of confetti. Actually, it doesn't look too bad confetti. I was going to say, it's a lot of confetti. And whilst there is a bit in places, we still have, like, things like here, where we've got some straight lines and in the grass here. Like, there's little patches. So it's not a super evil confetti. Oh, there's, like, in, even in the rows there, we've got, like, these arrows it's like in a straight line uh, I don't use a multi-placer but if you did you know there is opportunity there to to get a few drills down at once even in here as well you can see like the darker ones I guess that's because like the building is quite uh linear right so let's see where these uh, a b's are so the o's I actually saw them okay so we've got these down here in this uh is that a is that water? I don't know if that's the water or like a pathway. But I saw some up here as well. Where was they? Yeah, so they're all in like the rooftop here. Like it's like a highlight, like the reflection here. So that's where the white ones are. Oh, so that's a light blue. Let's, let's see where that is. Okay, so the R's are all up here in the sky. So that's kind of, I don't, if you can see, I'll, I'll put the picture again on the screen, but if you can see around the top of the building, it's like, it's, it's almost like a, a halo-y glow, because I think it's like sunrise, so it's got that sort of glowy haze about it. So that's where we got, so the white in the building and then the AB blues up in the sky. And then 9S. Right, so I saw the red arrows, that was down here. So those were, okay, so that's what was in the, in the rows. So that's the 666, that's the bright red. Yeah, I might be missing it, but I think the uh, 666 reds are only in that rose. And what have we got? So we've got oh, the yellow triangle and nine and S. Oh, so we've got the S's, the S's and the nines are in this rose again as well. 
they're in that row so the nines are all in this these roses so right so all of the roses it looks like here have got the two pinks for ab's and this one has got it as well but just got the additional uh, red ones just in that one rose let's see if they're up here as well yeah, so they're all up in these roses here, and they're all in, along the roses along the uh, along the balcony, and some up here in the um, in like the sort of the pinky sky. It's gonna look pretty. Yeah, some of, some of the S's are in that, so that's in like the dawn dawn sky. So we just need to find that yellow triangle. That'd be like these glowing windows. So yeah, oh yeah, more white in there. So we've got the white ABs and then the pale lemon ABs in these glowy windows. That's, that's going to be nice. I like that. Any more up here? No. Just, just, just the little windows at the bottom. So, yeah, a nice scattering. I do like it. I, I, the, the canvas I've done previously with doing Dreamer Designs, I just I loved how they made their choices for ABs. So fingers crossed it's going to be the same. It, the potential looks fantastic, but yeah, it was perfect last time. It's just right, right, perfect to, for my tastes. Some people might not like them, but I like them. Right, so that is Red Rose Manor from Dreamer Designs. I will leave a link below in the description. And yeah, leave me a thumbs up on the way out the door if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you all again soon. Bye for now. Bye.